a full month behind. That's how one farmer in Mason is describing this year's harvest. It's the result of excessive rain this past spring and summer. Fox 47's Christiana Ford caught up with a local farmer about how the weather has affected his harvest. 80 acres have already been harvested here at Little Creek's farm in Mason. They still have 180 acres left, and this is just one of their many fields. So it's going to be a long harvest season, but they say they aren't giving up. Fourth generation farmer John Osterley says farming is in his blood. It's what he loves to do. It's always something different. At Little Creek's, the family farm where he works with his twin brother and dad, harvest is underway. Oh, today hasn't been that bad. It's a little, as you can see, it's a little sticky, but at least we can get out here and get something done. But they're a full month behind. Farmers feeling yet another wave of effects of the wet weather this spring and summer, scrambling to harvest crops before more rain and cold weather hits. In my short farming career, this has definitely been the hardest, hardest one so far because we had so much water. There was there was 60 plus days between the time we first started planting and when we finished planting. Osterley says they didn't finish planting until September 29th. The effects of all that rain seen on this yield map, red areas showing low yields. The water, it came through this field and it all just sat. And so the corn plant had a hard time coming up and we didn't get an even emergence. So this corn struggled all year long. That's a lot of yeah, that's a lot of red. <laughs> Yields look even worse for their soybeans. We're right now we're only we're only a little half done with soybeans, so we still got a lot sitting out there. But as a farmer, he does his best to stay positive. For farming, there's nothing you're going to change. You, you can't control the weather. You can't control how some things happen. So you just got to kind of go with it. In Mason, Christiana Ford, Fox 47. The USDA estimates farmers in Michigan were unable to plant more than 880,000 acres this year. That's the worst they've seen since they started tracking prevented planting 12 years ago. Little Creeks hopes to finish harvesting by the beginning of December. They say the monetary effects of the harvest delays and the low yields will cost them around a quarter of a million dollars.